Hello, my name is First Lieutenant Bell, coming from Fort Carson, Colorado. Today I'll be demonstrating some home workouts that I do uh, in my garage with some equipment that I got from my local exchange. So starting off, the way I structure my workout is by supersetting. So I was doing two workouts for one set. So it's limited the amount of break time in between the exercises that you do and the break time actually comes after you finish the set. So for my first superset today, our two workouts will be the ball slam and the tricep kickbacks. For the ball slam, we're really focusing on the core and strengthening the lower back area. For the tricep extension, we're really focusing on toning the back of the arm. So we'll start off with the ball slam. What I have here is a 20 pound medicine ball that you can get your local exchange. You can also get a slam ball to local exchange, uh, whichever works. So what I, we're gonna start with the 20 pound medicine ball. We're gonna slam the ball with our whole body, really extending and slamming all the way through the workout. We're going for 10 reps. Here we go. After that, we're going straight into tricep extensions. What I have is a 30 pound resistance band that I got in my local exchange. We're going to make sure our back is straight, knees are bent. We're just going to keep our elbows high and kick our hands straight back. We're going to pause at the top, we're going for 12 reps. After each superset is when you get your break. So we'll take about a minute break and we'll jump into set number two. During your workouts, you want to maintain a high heart rate. So usually my choice of poison is the burpees. So I'll just throw in 10 burpees uh, in between supersets uh, whenever I have time to keep that heart rate high, keep that blood pumping so we can burn fat. So for my next superset, I'll be demonstrating the bicycle crunch and the mat lateral walk. For the bicycle crunch, we're really focusing on the abs and the core area. And for the mat lateral walk, we're really focusing on the uh, hips. So what I have here is just a small resistance band that I got from my local exchange. And we'll be using that for both workouts in the superset. So we'll start by wrapping the band around our feet. And we're just doing a crunch one leg at a time. So we're going to do 12 reps. With the same resistance band, we're going to pull it up to around our ankles. We're going to stand up. We're going to do six steps forward, six steps back. For my next superset, I'll be demonstrating the glute kickback and the chest fly. So we'll be using the same band that we use. Uh, earlier in our ab workout for our glute kickback. So you're just going to kick your legs straight back. You want to keep it straight. You're going to pause at the top. It's really filling the glute and you're going to bring it back down. We're going to do 10 on each leg. Here we go. For the chest fly, we're using a little bit heavier band than we used earlier. This is a 60 pound band. You can use any kind of anchor that you have in your house that's stationary that won't move. You wrap your band around it. We'll be doing a set of 12. So at the top of each rep, you want to squeeze the chest. Step four, back straight, 12 reps. So at the end of every workout, I try to have a good finisher, something that kind of brings the whole workout together. So for today's finisher, we'll be doing uh, some push-ups with the resistance band. So I'll be putting it around both of my wrists. We're just doing a regular push-up, but with this push-up, not only are we hitting the chest and the triceps, but we're also hitting the deltoids. So we're going for 20 reps. We're just doing a regular push-up, bringing the hands together, separating them again for 20 reps. All the workouts we did today were simple, low maintenance workouts that you can do in the comfort of your own home with equipment that you can find at your local exchange. Just because the gyms are closed doesn't mean that we should let our fitness slack off. Remember to be fit and stay fit.